day like this, there's nothing happening outside. It's a perfect opportunity for you to jump in the garage, catch up on a couple projects I've been putting off. Today, I'm gonna try to revive a simple brushed motor. Let's check it out. All right, the motor we have here is out of a tank sprayer I have for spraying fertilizer, weed killer, that kind of stuff. It sat out, to be honest, all winter maybe even longer, um, never put it away, my fault, really just neglect. Tried to fire it up this spring and the motor was not running at all. So we're gonna dive into this. Brushed motors like this sometimes are very easily salvageable. So hopefully this is one of those cases and we can fix it. All right, here's the motor. This is the part that I know is not functioning because it's not spinning at all. This front part is just the pump part, which is gonna move the water. So as far as the electric motor part goes, this is the part that's very similar. Here's another one I have that's from a camper landing gear. Again, same idea as far as how the motors are constructed. So what we're gonna do is take the back cap off here and take a look inside and see if we can't figure out why this isn't spinning. All right, now that we have the top off, I think we're gonna find out here why this wasn't working. So the good news is the armature here, all the windings look good, nothing's burned up. This is spinning freely inside. Let me show you what we found over on the cap. So basic troubleshooting on these types of motors is, again, I just showed you the, the armature there spinning freely, that's good news. The next thing I'm looking at is the brushes and the electrical connections here. Sometimes these wires here, which electrify these brushes are broken, can be resoldered. Sometimes the brushes wear out, sometimes they fall out, sometimes they break. In this case here, you don't see it now, but you see a little bit of corrosion right there, again, from being left outside. These brushes were actually corroded enough that they were stuck open, so they weren't riding on that armature. I might not be using the exact right terms here. I'm sorry, I'm not an expert in electrical motors, but you know, I know enough just to get into it and fix some of the common, common problems. I'm gonna spray a little cleaner on. Just try to clean some of that corrosion off. Operating freely, not getting stuck. Assemble this thing and see if it works. All right, this cap most of the times has some type of index notch, matches up with a spot on here so you know in what orientation to line this up because those two bolts that hold it down have to be lined up perfectly. Then the other tricky thing is getting those brushes separated so they are spring-loaded right around that armature while you get the top on. I'm going to use just a little screwdriver here, line this up, and just push them out. gentle tap. There's a bearing on the top here that shaft rides into. I'm not going to force it. Just a gentle tap to get that to seat. And we know we're lined up because those bolts thread right in. Alright, let's test this thing out. One of the most 
indispensable tools I have here in the garage, especially for bench testing electrical components, is this regulated power supply. This thing puts out 13.8 volts. So for any 12 volt system, whether it's automobile or just in this case, this is a 12 volt electrical motor. It allows me to test it here without keeping a battery charged. It doesn't put out a lot of amps. So if you do have a high draw on something, it's gonna blow the fuse in the back, but it's just enough to see if something works. I'll put a link in the description box below to where you can buy this on Amazon and support my channel at the same time. Turn this puppy on, put the leads on here and see if we have a working motor. Back in business. Hope this helps someone. When in doubt, take it apart. Might learn something. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all my new videos in the world of property management, renovation, Airbnbs, real estate investing in general, and pretty much any other project I get myself into.